So we are on day 17, John chapter 17, and I'm going to read verse 20 to 26. This is where Jesus prays for his disciples and believers everywhere. So verse 20. I am not praying only on their behalf, but also on behalf of those who believe in me through their testimony, that they will be as one, just as you, Father, are in me and I am in you. I pray that they will be in us so that the world will believe you have sent me. The glory you gave to me, I am giving to them, that they may be one just as we are one. I in them and you in me that they may be completely one so that the world will know that you sent them to me and that you love them just as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that they can see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, even if the world does not know you, I know you and these men know that you sent me. I have made known your name to them and I will continue to make it known so that the love you have loved me with may be in them and I may be in them. I'm going to reflect and write today. Um, and the first point is who was Jesus praying for in verse 20? How does that make you feel? Well, I'm actually really blown away by that. I want to read verse 20. Again, I am not praying only on their behalf, but also on behalf of those who believe in me through their testimony. You know, those who believe in me through their testimony is all of us. Jesus was praying for us even before we even existed. Jesus's heart was inclined towards us even before we knew him. And he was praying to God that we would be at one with them. You know, that just blows me away that Jesus' love for me was there even before I was. And that his heart for me was that I would be in him and in the Father. And there would be that, that unity, that oneness, that communion that togetherness with the Father and Son to know his love. Now, I think that this unity was really, really important to Jesus because it was the way that we could show God's love to other people by being in that close relationship and that close union with him. We could, we could show people the glory of God because God loved us, that love is in us. And we can't help but share it. People can't help but see it. You know, I think that others, others seeing the love of God in us is so important. Because how are they meant to see Jesus if we don't show that? And by loving each other, they can see that there's something different about how we love because it's not from us it's not a it's not a human thing it's a god thing you know god in us and god's love in us And that communion that we have with God and Jesus, I think that's what makes us different. That's what sets us apart. Because we are his and he is ours. And we can call on that love anytime we need it. Because Jesus said, you know, in verse 26, it said, I have made known your name to them and I will continue to make it known. So that the love you have loved me with may be in them and I may be in them. You know, here Jesus promises that he will be in us always, that his love will be in us always, keeping us safe, keeping us secure, keeping us in him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you that your love never fails. It never runs short. 
Thank you that your love is long-suffering. Father, that your heart is always towards us. And Lord, I pray that we would have a greater sense of that. As we do your will, we'd have a greater sense of your love and that we would be that to those around us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.